Hello, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. <clears throat> well, I was messing around in my box of kicks, and uh, I was just picking one of these, and I got counter rotation. And I thought, well, that's unusual. And so I picked the lock and gutted it, and I found spools. So I found another one that looks, uh, another kick that looks like that, and sure enough, I've got a false set already. I was just going to pick it, or try to pick it, and I almost lost my false set. Maybe I should go top of the keyway. Oh, I got my false set back. Pretty hot here today. Fortunately, I have air conditioning. And free electricity weekend so I can keep it as cool as I want. I'm not gonna go crazy with it. But I'm not gonna be sweating in here either. And it's just the beginning of summer too, man. It ain't even it ain't even kicked in yet. I can tell it's gonna be a pretty I think I overset somebody there. This thing's picked like a challenge a lot. I have to get another pick in here. Or try to top the keyway. Alright, I got my false set back again. Let me try a different pick in here. This guy's too steep. I'll try this little, I call it an HD. Number two is giving me some counter. Uh, set him. Yeah, there's. Uh, overset that guy. That was five. Got it back. I touched four. There's some spools in here. bottom of the keyway tensioning is for me it's it's hard to tell counter rotation sometimes because you're levering right off the tension wrench a lot of times and it's hard to interpret that compared to I'm gonna go top the keyway Wait a minute, I'm getting counter on one here oh I reset everybody well that's a good time to go top of the keyway Stop messing around with it. Top of the keyway has got the advantage of, uh, it's got several advantages. You can use the whole depth of the, now this one's really loose. That's why. I've been misplacing my step lately. I need my thickest one in here, I think. There we go. Now let's try this again, shall we? Um, when you go to the bottom of the keyway, you gobble up some of the space that you could be using for, if you could go the, the full length of the thing. So you have to use, like, shorter picks a lot of times. And you have a tendency to overset. And because, you, you know, your the reach of your pick is that much higher up. And there was something else I was thinking of, but I just forgot it all of a sudden. Oh, the uh, the levering problem when you when you go to uh, push your pins. See how I'm going down like this? When you've got a, your tension wrench down there, you feel movement. Whereas if you're going top of the keyway, you don't feel anything until it's actually the pins and stuff. All right, it's not really helping me a whole lot. Let me increase tension slightly. I got to click out of four. No five. That was five. 
four is bound up. Touch two and I got a slight turn on the core. I told you man, these things are they're fun. Oh there we go. Look at that fall set. Now that's a pretty good one right there. That's definitely a spool. Alright, one's giving me counter. I set him, but I get it open. Now four. I think I got four. See, I'm slipping down this channel too. I'm kind of working off this this ledge over here. But I'm slipping down that channel every once in a while when I... I'm going back here. I don't have a key for this, so... Oh, man, I think I just reset everybody. I'm trying to push on a pin that didn't need to be pushed on. Oop. I got my false set back and almost lost my tension wrench. Nice little battle here, you know, for just a little five-pinner. The difference between uh, standard and security pins, you know, they security pins usually are easier for me to pick, but because you know where you're getting, but it can still take longer. Because uh, standard pins can be raked or bumped or all kinds of stuff <coughs> snapped. You can do it on spools too. I'm trying to get. Uh, I see where you said everybody. I'm trying. I was trying to set five back here. I just there we go. I got my false set back. What a battle! That's good because I don't have any challenge locks left. And I haven't made any. I was gonna make up some, but I just haven't got around to it. I would rather pick than make right now. So. All right, we gotta figure out. I got springies. I'm trying to find somebody bound up. I think it's. Uh, uh man, that was one playing around again. All right, I thought I felt something back here. Trying to find out who would give me counter. It feels like it's all the way in the back here. Why? Every time I go to push on him, I lose everything. See? I think I said him. I heard a pretty good click, but I lost my false set. My deep false set. I still got a false set, but. Got a little bit of turn on the core there, touching five. A little bit more on one. See, now that's a deep fall set there, but... Eight minutes, look at that, it's taking me forever. I reset everything trying to hit five again. I got some of it back. Hitting two. Who's holding this up? Who is it? There's got to be like one pin holding me up here. Hold that now. Going loony. I've got news for you. You're already loony. There was a good one right there. That was two, I believe. Pushed up on him and got some counter rotation. I think I set him, but now I gotta find the other one. Somebody else is holding us up, and I want to know who he is. Is it you? No? Uh, 
I think I overset. I heard pins drop and hmm. well, it's keeping me entertained. There we go. We got another good turn. What's this thing with? Stop playing around and open up. What I can do, since I'm taking so long on this one, is I can show you the uh, pins in the other one. And then if I get this, I'll get this one afterwards. And uh, I'll just confirm or deny that there's the same type of pins in there. But I think they are. What it was was uh, pins 1 through 4 were spools and pin... Five was standard, and the key pins are nickel, silver, brass. They're not magnetic, so they're not steel. They're shiny like steel. Um, yeah, if I can get this guy open. It could be a naughty bucket Friday guy. All right, now that was one. And I set him. I set him good. Who is it? Inquiring minds want to know which pin is acting up in here. Is it two? I don't think so. I think I overset him. Four? No. Three? Let's go down the stack here. One feels set. No kind of rotation solid. Two kind of countering now. But he's not doing anything. Not really countering now. Three. Oh. I tried to move him, but I don't I don't think I was successful. Lost everything. Got it back. What the hell? It was like a challenge lock, man. Somebody. Somebody is holding us up. Keep bumping into three back here. Can't get him though. I keep sliding off that ledge. Okay, get Gabbins. Not right. Not right that this lock is fighting this much. I make a challenge lock out of this puppy. There we go. I got him finally. Yeah, I'm gonna make a challenge lock out of that one. Thirteen minutes. So let me just uh, <clears throat> do a shortcut for you on this. This was one of the kicks that Mike sent me, and it was in the hole. I'm just trying to get this. See, it's the same type. It has the same type of tail piece, and it's a Schlage, and it's a five-pin core. But <clears throat> this is pin one. You got some pretty nice spools here. This spring is not <laughs> the spring that goes to it. I, when I was getting it, that spring fell on the floor, and that's the only one I could find on the floor. Looks like it'll fit. Uh, but yeah, that's your only standard there. Um, so yeah, it's a cool little, um, cool little lock pick. I got into this one much faster than I did the one on the camera there. Um, but yeah, there you go. 
getting your kicks on a Friday, I guess is what I call this one.